No, the footprints don't match. Or if O'Leary killed Dunn, he did it without stepping in the paint, or in different shoes. This will surely imbue me with the Texan spirit. Yes, I got a Vietnamese shave last night. No, time. please come in. Of course, I remember you. Take a seat. I'm sure you'll understand we can't be too careful. Our host has many enemies, and someone has to keep them at bay. Sure, I get it. I'm glad to hear that. Now, please answer my question. How much does it cost to get yourself a clean Vietnamese shave? And then, sure enough, Booth put the nail on the coffin of my first marriage. You know, the wife that caught me cheating with the maid. <laughs> my second marriage, too. You know what I did to her daddy? Same old, same old with several mistresses. So I decided to stick to my guns and only deal with hookers. Even if I did end up <laughs> marrying some. <laughs> I feel you, Mr. Farnham. So I'm going to be honest with you. I'm betraying my boss by saying this, but Cassidy's bad news. Sure enough, boy, he's in the boxing industry. I mean, he won't play a fair game, but I can tell you his trick for a small share of the winnings. What well, I care if I lose. If you knew how much I paid just to get in the game, you'd chew off your own pants. <laughs> Pick your teeth with your belt buckle. It's just petty cash to me. Petty cash, to be honest. I asked you how much. Of course they gave me a receipt. What do you think I am, boy? Wait, I'm, I'll, I'll show you. I, I gotta get somewhere. Just a sec. I get it. I, I just, just put it over, over. I think he's. Uh, I'll be right back. Ding dong, interesting name for a town. Ding Dong? Interesting name for a town. I'm almost certain, but tell me, who told you to come to this barber shop? A friend of mine? Sure. Just any old friend.
I'm almost certain. But tell me, who told you to come to this barber shop? Let me tell you a little secret about my first wife, sonny boy. When I met that woman, she had no manners, no money, no nothing. Oh, who in the hell? Farnham, by God, if it ain't the hero of the day. I probably don't need to imitate his gestures during the game, but it certainly wouldn't hurt to try. With this and that bolo tie, I'll really look the part. It's not going to be easy to sound Texan, but I'll give it my best shot. Anyway, Kenny, thanks for fixing the game with Cassidy. <laughs> God bless you, brother. <laughs> the craziest goddamn Texan in New York. <clears throat> My good old friend Kenny. Craziest goddamn Texan in New York. You know how many Kennys there are in New York? Kenny who? So besides when and where the game will be, the password, and the money Farnham dished out, what else do I need? Cornell Plaza, Manhattan, stunning penthouse. I'm not surprised. Mr. Eeks has excellent taste. Do you happen to know what he asked for the last time he was here? A Vietnamese shave. No, you seriously don't know. Don't tell me, Billy Bob. This here is my new friend Farnham, am I right? Sure enough, your barber was fixing to give me a shave. <laughs> you can get a good shave at another time. Billy Bob is always at our beck and call. Of course. Hey, come on. Let's get in there before they finish all the bourbon without us. I haven't frisked him yet, sir. I don't think that'll be necessary. Mr. Farnham here, he's a honest Texan. And I'm sure he'll hand over his weapon if we ask him to. Right? Sure, but you better take good care of my girl. It'll be my pleasure.
Welcome, gentlemen. Chips are at the table and guns are in the safe. Now, we got a lovely night of poker ahead of us full of smoking and bourbon. So let's get started. Take a seat, Mr. Farnham. Let me introduce you. To my right, wearing great boxes and weighing in at 140 pounds, the owner of Pink Vice, the largest meat market in all of Manhattan. In other words, a real son of a bitch. Uh, no offense to the women he exploits. Our reigning champion, Oswald Quince. A title I aim to keep, provided our new contender here doesn't interfere. Y'all are dealing with the worst player in Texas. You're just trying to make me overconfident, aren't you? The truth is that our friend Farnham owns the largest and, I dare say, most entertaining establishment in Texas. Really? So we're colleagues, then? Yeah, you wish, Quince. He owns a casino. Damn. And it's not even in Austin or Dallas. It's actually in a little town called, uh, uh, yeah, what was it? Darn it. I, I looked it up the other day. Had a funny ring to it. I, I hate it when this happens. I thought they moved all Texan casinos to Vegas. Well, gambling is legal. The town's Amarillo. No, eh, no, that's not it. That much I know. Sometimes you get the feeling that it's all gone wrong. That you've made a terrible mistake. Sorry, did I say sometimes? Huh. No, that only happens once in a lifetime. The truth is that our friend Farnham owns the largest and, I dare say, most entertaining establishment in Texas. Really? So we're colleagues, then? Yeah, you wish, Quince. He owns a casino. Damn. And it's not even in Austin or Dallas. It's actually in a little town called, uh, uh, yeah, what was it? Darn it. I, I looked it up the other day. Had a funny ring to it. I, I hate it when this happens. I thought they moved all Texan casinos to Vegas. Well, gambling is legal. Well, I, I, you know. How can you not remember? Sometimes you get the feeling that it's all gone wrong that you've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> Sorry, did I say sometimes? Huh. No, that only happens once in a lifetime. The truth is that our friend Farnham owns the largest and, I dare say, most entertaining establishment in Texas. Really? So we're colleagues, then? Yeah, you wish, Quince. He owns a casino. Damn. And it's not even in Austin or Dallas. It's actually in a little town called, uh, uh, yeah, what was it? Darn it. I, I looked it up the other day. Had a funny ring to it. I, I hate it when this happens. I thought they moved all Texan casinos to Vegas. Well, gambling is legal. You mean Ding Dong, Texas? <laughs> ding Dong! That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd ever think of a name like that? <laughs> well, casino or no casino, let's just hope he doesn't keep as many aces up his sleeve as the late Ventimiglia, huh? Amen. To my left, wearing brown boxes and weighing in at 396 pounds. Frank, show some respect, huh? The hospitality tycoon, Polly... Polly... Oh. Tycoon? I just own a small bar with pool tables. Clients drink close to nothing and play even less, but certain business transactions just couldn't happen anywhere else. Damn it, Paulie. Why don't I know your last name? 
Because they took it away from me. You have no idea how good my ex-wife's lawyer is. <laughs> Women. They even take our damn names. <laughs> You're too much, Polly. When you're done sightseeing, why don't you drop by La Iguana for a game of pool, and I'll buy you a drink. But I have to warn you, my clientele isn't crazy about furry fellas such as yourself. Thanks. I love me some pool. Perfect. It'll be my pleasure. You are looking to start your own pool business, Farnham? This guy here wants to start a boxing association in Texas. And guess who he's turning to for advice? To be honest, several things got me worried. So I'd be much obliged for any counseling. So, what worries you? Those there athletes hooking up with each other, like Al Stone and Helen Moore. I see you subscribe to What's News. Yeah, my star boxer, the reigning champion. He's having an affair with America's sweetheart. Hey, I got nothing against those two idiots falling in love. Don't get me wrong, but it's taking a toll on his performance. I don't think he'll lose against Yale, but I'm starting to worry a bit. Billy Bob, bring out the bourbon. We're drying up here. I'll deal with a fresh deck, of course. We respect traditions in this establishment. Poker is as boring as it is simple. All you need to do is read people's faces. And even the worst detective has that trick up his sleeve. The real issue is knowing what to play for when there's much more than just money at stake. How many games have you won, Farnham? Mark my words. Farnham will be calling his wife before the night is over. Ha! Oh, hey, 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 by the way, did you guys hear about Kenny's wife? Pretty tragic, huh? What happened? Oh, playing bad luck. Hey, but Farnham, I'm, I'm sure you know more about it than I do. Anyway, Kenny. Thanks for fixing the game with Cassidy. <laughs> God bless you, brother. <laughs> Craziest goddamn Texan in New York. And the poor fellow's already got enough on his hands now that his wife... Tell me more about your first wife. Oh, right. Where were we? Same difference. Another drink? No, oh, seriously, where were we? All right, right. We, we was fixing to have another drink. It's coming back to me now. We were talking about my wife, right? One of them. <laughs> Same difference. Oh, horse. Damn! I don't like waiting. Kenny won't like it, but I'm not gonna sit here wondering. Billy Bob, pass me the phone. Come on, come on, come on! Sometimes you get the feeling that it's all gone wrong. That you've made a terrible mistake. Sorry, did I say sometimes? Huh. No, that only happens once in a lifetime. Mark my words. Farnham will be calling his wife before the night is over. Ha! Oh, hey, 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 by the way, did you guys hear about Kenny's wife? Pretty tragic, huh? What happened? Oh, playing bad luck. Hey, but Farnham, I'm, I'm sure you know more about it than I do. Anyway, Kenny, 
Thanks for fixing the game with Cassidy. <laughs> God bless you, brother. <laughs> the craziest goddamn Texan in New York. And the poor fellow's already got enough on his hands now that his wife... How do you know that funny Texan? He's an old pal. Moved to the East Coast years ago. He's also a friend with your boss, uh, uh, Frank Cassidy. It's Kenny who suggested I talk to Cassidy about getting into the boxing business. Oh, right. Where were we? Same difference. Another drink? <laughs> <laughs>